Your Facebook Live report starts now. Hey, what's up, everyone? Tara Talmadge and Mike Irwin. And we just found out that the SEC Baseball Awards have been announced. And Dave Van Horn and Kevin Copps have both been recognized by the conference. We've got Dave Van Horn earning Coach of the Year. And we also have Kevin Copps being named Pitcher of the Year. I think we all pretty much expected that one. Thankfully, it, it worked out. Mike, uh, let's start with Coach of the Year. Let's start with Dave. What do you think about this one? Well, it was kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Although, you know, I guess some people might say Vitello since they, <laughs> you know, were, weren't picked anywhere near as high as they were. Yeah. And, and Tennessee came pretty close and fell at the end of the year, but almost tied Arkansas for the overall SEC championship. So there could be some argument there maybe, but I, I, I thought it was pretty obvious with what Arkansas did. It wasn't just that they won the SEC. It was the way they did it by winning all 10 conference mm -hmm. series. And the five series that they won on the road, the teams that they played, they were, in for the most part, they were top five teams, and you're beating those winning series from them in, in, at their place. And it was pretty remarkable. To win, win the SEC overall, to have tie for the best record in the SEC since they went to the 30-game format, and to be only the second team to win all 10 SEC series, all of that, I think, you, you just had to give it to Dave Van Horn. Yeah. He had an incredible, Arkansas had an incredible year. Yeah, I mean, they went 42 and 10 and 22 and 8 overall in, in the SEC, which is just absolutely insane. And then you've got Kevin Copps, who just had an incredible season so far. And I think there was some question of whether he would get player of the year because he's had such an impact on this team. But pitcher of the year is definitely a huge uh, honor for, for Kevin Copps. Well, again, that was a no-brainer. I know Vanderbilt's got a c couple of really good mm -hmm. starting pitchers, but Kevin Copp's ERA is off the charts compared to anyone else oh, yeah. off the charts low. And uh, then the the games that he impacted, some people have suggested, well, he could have been a starter. Well, he wouldn't have had the impact as a starter because mm -hmm. he was he was impacting two games a weekend. Yep. You know, he's 10-0 and 0 with eight saves. That's 18 games that you <laughs> impacted – I'm not. That's not to say on those saves that they wouldn't have won without him, but most but still, of them they wouldn't have. Yeah. So there's at least 14 games Arkansas would have probably lost without Kevin Copps. So again, that was a no-brainer to me as Player of the Year because to me, Player of the Year represents the guy that had the biggest impact on his team, and you have to look at where his team finished. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a version of the Heisman. Yeah. And they always say on the Heisman, it's not maybe the best player, but it's the best player on the b best team. I just think he was the best player. I don't think anybody in the SEC impacted yeah. the league standings as much as Kevin Copps. But they're going to spread this stuff around. I mean, right. they're politically correct. <laughs> I mean, they, you know, you look at all SEC mm -hmm. first team, Arkansas has three on there. Yeah. But uh, so does Vanderbilt. Right. Uh, and to me, I, 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 there's a player or two I would have put on there from Arkansas and left somebody off from yeah. Vanderbilt or whatever. Um, but it's, this is not unexpected. I, th I thought it might actually be worse. Uh, <laughs> Arkansas throughout the season didn't give the typical recognition, didn't get the typical recognition you would get from a team yeah. that just stayed number one, number one, number one every week. And I think part of it is that a lot of these people, when I, when I would listen to the SEC Network, when you would listen to the analysts for the opposing team when Arkansas was on the road, you just got the impression that everybody looked at certain things about Arkansas and thought they were going to fail in the end. Yeah. And it's almost like now they woke up this last weekend and went, whoa, they not only won the SEC, they won it by two games. Yeah. They they have the, the tied for the best record ever in the SEC. They, they won all these series. Oh yeah, I guess they're pretty good. We better we better, <laughs> we better give them stuff. something. We react to it. <laughs> well, um, Cameron Thompson says that Kevin Copp should be National Pitcher of the Year. Nobody has altered as many games as Kevin has in the nation. And honestly, I mean, like you were bringing up, he's he's had such a big impact on this team. And I think you take away Kevin Copp, and we don't know what this team would have looked like this year. Well, another incredible thing about him is that the scouting in the SEC is about as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. They scout everybody. Yeah. You look at what uh, what Arkansas did against Florida's national home run leader. Mm -hmm. He he virtually, he, I think he got one hit, struck out the rest of the time. Well, 
Matt Hobbs, Arkansas's pitching coach, did a great job of telling, teaching Arkansas's pitchers who faced him this weekend. And Arkansas used 12 pitchers this weekend. Yeah. 12. It's crazy. I don't know that every one of them faced him, but what they did to him was indicative of a pitching coach that said, hey, this is how you throw to this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now think about Kevin Copps. Yeah. Think about all the teams that were facing Arkansas. They know, okay, we're playing Arkansas this week. Let's figure out what to do about Copps because he's probably going to decide the game at the end. And what we saw from the beginning of the season all the way up to the last series was that every time he came in, he was just striking people out. They were just swinging at air. Yep. They were swinging at balls in the dirt. <laughs> you had these analysts that couldn't even decide what his pitch was. Was it a, it a cutter? Some <laughs> said it was a slider. No, it's a cut slider. It's right. kind of both. It's a hybrid. <laughs> and the point is, they don't. I don't think they knew what was yeah. going on, and the hitter sure didn't know what was going on. And how does he do that when he gets scouted every week? Right. So it's just incredible the impact he had on the entire league and probably, I mean, when you mentioned national pitcher, I mean, you've got, you got to do things nationally now, and that means the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So if he gets into regionals, super regionals, continues to do this, and then he gets to the College World Series, then there's an opportunity. I mean, he might even win the Golden Spikes Award. I don't, they don't typically give that to a pitcher, but, you know, I they know. should if he, if he has that kind <laughs> of impact. And I want to go over real quick. I've got... Some bullet points, I think, somewhere in here. Let's see. The right. Here we are. Okay. So, for everyone just joining us, we have Dave Van Horn winning Coach of the Year. Kevin Copps is Pitcher of the Year. We have three Razorbacks that made first team all SEC. That's Robert Moore, Matt Goodhart, and Kevin Copps. We also have two Razorbacks that made second team all SEC. That is Christian Franklin and Patrick Wicklander. Now, also not on these bullet points right now is that freshman all SEC team, Caden Wallace, made that one, while newcomer all SEC team was Peyton Paulette and Robert Moore. Robert Moore also was on the SEC all defensive team as well, and so was Christian Franklin and Kevin Copps as well so yeah. a lot of awards to go around for arkansas from the sec and like you said i think mike we're all happily surprised <laughs> pleasantly surprised i guess you yeah, would well, say the, just to nitpick a few things i mean to me you leave casey opitz off the all defensive yeah. team what's going on there no. it, 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 even if you have to name co-players there there's no better right. catcher in the sec impacted a team more mm -hmm. defensively yeah than he did and it's just idiotic. I don't know what they just went brain dead. What? <laughs> what was happening there? You know? They just forgot about him, I guess, which is really disappointing because, I mean, he's been he's played such a big role for, for Arkansas off and on the field. So um, that's that's a little sad to see. Caden Wallace, I think, it definitely well-deserved right there. Um, Patrick Wicklander, by the way, also was named National Player of the Week for his performance against Florida. And so... That's really good. We also have a, a great story on Wicklander over on our website for you guys if you want to check it out. It's it's really interesting. And then, Mike, your guy, Charlie Welch. No no awards for him. I guess they don't have a pinch hitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they should have one. Um, I would point out that Wicklander has the lowest e ERA of any starter in the league, but he yeah. wasn't one of the three all-SEC pitchers, <laughs> you know. So, um, again, you could nitpick some of this stuff. Yeah. Um, I, if it, I would just say that you could pick any of these teams, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Florida, any of these traditional teams, if you picked one of them and, and that team did what Arkansas did, yep. you would see more, more awards going to their players. Arkansas gets p penalized just a little bit, I think, because of who they are. It's not. It's not just obvious. Yeah, I don't there's, think there's some guys that could have been on there here. Oh, for weren't. sure. Yeah, and, and I don't think you're the only one that feels that way. Um, I'm actually looking at some of the comments right now. Let's recognize this team. It was, you know, we got to give them some respect in every aspect. Uh, oh, it's definitely turned around several games. So uh, you're not alone in that in that thinking. But again, we have some some big awards going out to the Razorbacks, and now we wait to see, eventually, when they get recognized for national. We, do we think that Kevin Copps might get national pitcher of the year, Mike? 
Well, he's still got, he's got to do some things from here on out. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it doesn't stop here. Right. You move on. So we'll see. But I think he's got a good shot at it. <laughs> I think he does, too. All right. That's going to do it for our Pig Trail Nation Live, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to talk more about this on all of our shows today. So be sure to tune in. We'll hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.